So this is a motion control uh, controller that goes with the actual LAR 350 unit. Um, mo by motion control, what I mean is uh, m much of these buttons and the features and functions work by actually tilting your wrist to the right or to the left to control a whole host of features and functions. With this first one right now, we'll start with the center button, which is just s controlling the speed of the rotating head of the laser. So if I take this button and I hold it down and I turn it to the right, I can speed up the head of the rotating of the rotating head of the laser. If I turn it to the left, I can actually slow it down or even stop it to the point where it's completely mm -hmm. stopped. So in order to engage either our X or Y axis, what we first need to do is engage it. So we have to hit the shift button. You'll see the light above the shift button illuminated. That lets you know that you are okay and ready to engage in either X or Y axis to achieve your slopes. So if I hit X first, while I'm engaged with my shift button, all right? So just by hitting X, there's gonna be a blue light that populates on the top of the laser. Now, in order to achieve slope now, all I would need to do is hold down my X button while I'm engaged in shift and either turn to the right or turn to the left in order to adjust my X axis, either up or down. Now, if I wanna engage Y, all I would do is then, as long as my shift button is still illuminated, I know that I'm able to be engaged, I would then press the Y button once a green light is gonna populate on the top of the laser to let you know that you're engaged in Y axis. From that point on, you would do similar to what you did with the X axis by holding the Y axis button down and either turning your wrist to the right or turning your wrist to the left to achieve whatever axis by hitting the receiver off of your elevation rod. What you have on the controller here are these arrow function button. Okay. What this is used in conjunction with is if you're either in scan mode or masking mode. In scan mode, again, we're concentrating that laser line from spinning 360 just down to a smaller concentrated area for higher lighting conditions where you can't see it. You would engage the scan and then you would use these arrows to move that laser line around the room. You would engage like this. Hit the, hit the uh, arrow button and just turn your wrist to the right or turn your wrist to the left. So you could do that with the masking mode, same thing. You're spinning the line from either 360 all the way around to just 180 by using this masking button. You could then rotate your 180 around the area where you're working, either to the right or to the left. On the controller right here is called a tilt function button. Uh, what it does is it allows the user to engage the laser itself to let the user know that if, if it's ever knocked off of settings based off of any type of vibration on a job site from bulldozers or any type of situation where someone may be walking by the laser and hit it, um, you can put it in tilt function mm -hmm. so that if it does, it causes the laser to have a whole bunch of flashing LED lights to let the, the user know that it was knocked off of course and that it needs to be back adjusted properly so that it's reading true for the user. Um, if you were to hit the laser while it's all set up like this, you'll then see that tilt function go into action and you'll see all the LED lights, the green and blue, flashing. That again lets the user know that the unit has been knocked off course and it needs to be reset just by hitting manually hitting the tilt function button on the unit to get it back to where it needs to be.